Hi guys, I am here with um, your yesterday's Jeremiah reading first. So that would be Jeremiah chapter 16, verse 16 through chapter 18, verse 23. I'm going to send hordes of fishermen to catch them, declares the Lord. Afterward, I will send a party of hunters to hunt them down on every mountain, hill, and cave. I am watching their every move. Not one is hidden from me, nor is their sin concealed from my sight. I will initially pay them back, double for their evil and sin because they have corrupted my land with their disgusting, lifeless idols and have filled my inheritance with their detestable practices. Lord, you are my strength and my stronghold. You are my refuge in time of trouble. The nations will flock to you from the ends of the earth, and they will say, Our ancestors have inherited utter lies things that are hollow and useless. Can humans make their own gods? If so, they are not gods at all. Therefore, I will teach them. This time, I will teach them my power and my might. They will understand that I am the Lord. Judah's sin is engraved with an iron pen. It's etched with a diamond point on the tablets of their hearts, and on the horns of their altars. Their children remember their altars and sacred poles by the lush trees and high hills. Because you have committed such sins throughout your country, I will give you to your enemies, my mountain in the land, as well as your wealth and all that you treasure. You will lose the inheritance that I gave you. I will make you slaves of your enemies in the land you don't know. For my anger blazes like a fire that won't go out. The Lord proclaims, Cursed are those who trust in mere humans, who depend on human strength and turn their hearts from the Lord. They will be like a desert shrub that doesn't know when relief comes. They will live in a parched place of the wilderness, in a barren land where no one survives. Happy are those who trust in the Lord, who rely on the Lord. They will be like trees planted by the streams, whose roots reach down to the water. They won't fear drought when it comes. Their leaves will remain green. They won't be stressed in the time of drought, or fell to bear fruit. The most cunning heart, it's beyond help. Who can figure it out? I, the Lord, probe the heart and discern hidden motives to give everyone what they deserve, the consequences of their deeds. Like a partridge gathering a brood that is not its own, so are those who acquire their wealth corruptly. By midlife it will be gone. Afterward they will look like fools. Splendid and exalted throne, the place of our sanctuary from the beginning. Lord, the hope of Israel, all who forsake you will suffer disgrace. Those who turn away from you in the land will be written off, for they have abandoned the Lord, the fountain of living water. Heal me, Lord, and I'll be healed. Save me, and I'll be saved, for you are my heart's desire. See how they harass me. Where's the words? Where's the Lord's word? Let it come now. Yet I didn't urge you to bring disaster. I didn't want the calamity to happen. You know what comes out of my mouth. It's always before you. Don't terrorize me. You are my refuge in time of disaster. Let my tormentors be disgraced, but not me. Let them be terrorized, but not me. Bring on them the time of disaster, as they deserve. Destroy them repeatedly. 
the Lord proclaimed to me, Go and stand by the people's gates, where Judah's kings go in and out, and then all the gates of Jerusalem, and say to them, Listen to the Lord's word, you kings of Judah, all you people of Judah and anyone living in Jerusalem who passes through these gates, the Lord says, Be on guard not to carry a load on the Sabbath day or conduct business at the gates of Jerusalem. Don't carry a load from your house or do any kind of work on the Sabbath day. Rather, keep the Sabbath day holy as I commanded your ancestors, although they didn't listen or pay attention. They were stubborn and wouldn't obey or accept correction. If you are careful to obey me, declares the Lord, and don't conduct business at the gates of this city on the Sabbath day, if you keep the Sabbath day holy by not working, then through the gates of this city will come kings who occupy the throne of David and their officers, all riding on chariots and horses. They will be accompanied by the people of Judah and those living in Jerusalem, and this city will always be inhabited. Others will come from the towns of Judah and Benjamin, from all around Jerusalem, and from the western foothills, the highlands, and the arid southern plain. They will come bringing entirely burned offerings, sacrifices, grain offerings, incense, and thanksgiving offerings to the Lord's temple. But if you don't obey me by keeping the Sabbath day holy, if you carry your loads and conduct your business at the gates of Jerusalem as usual, then I will set fire to those gates that will completely engulf the fortresses of Jerusalem. It will not be put out. Jeremiah received the Lord's word. Go down to the potter's house, and I'll give you instructions about what to do there. So I went down to the potter's house. He was working on the potter's wheel, but the piece he was making was flawed while still in his hands, so the potter started on another and seemed best to him. Then the Lord's word came to me, House of Israel, can't I deal with you like this potter, declares the Lord, like clay in the potter's hand, so are you in mine, House of Israel. At any time I may announce that I would dig up, pull down, and destroy a nation or kingdom. But if that nation, I warn, turns from its evil, then I'll relent and not carry out the harm I intended for it. At the same time, I may announce that I will build and plant a nation or kingdom. But if that nation displeases and disobeys me, then I'll relent and not carry out the good I intended for it. Now say to the people of Judah and those living in Jerusalem, This is what the Lord says, I am a potter preparing a disaster for you. I am working out a plan against you. So each one of you turn from your evil ways. Reform your ways and your actions. But they said, What's the use? We will follow our own plans and act according to our own willful evil hearts. Therefore, the Lord proclaims, Ask among the nations, Have you ever heard anything like this? Virgin Israel has done the most horrible thing. Does the snow on the mountains of Lebanon ever melt entirely off their rocky cliffs? Do the cool mountain streams ever dry up? Yet my people have forgotten me. They have offered sacrifices to a lie, and so they have stumbled along the way, even along the ancient paths. They have taken side roads, not the main roads. They have ruined their country and brought utter shame on it. All who pass by are shocked and shake their heads. Like a strong east wind, I will scatter them before their enemy. When disaster strikes them, I will show them my back, not my face. Then they said, Come, let's unite against Jeremiah, for the priest's instruction won't fail, nor will the sage's counsel, 
nor the prophet's word. Come, let's silence him and pay no attention to his words. Pay attention to me, Lord. Listen to what my enemies are saying. Should evil be returned for good? Yet they have set traps for me. Remember that I stood before you, begging you to be merciful and not to punish them. Enough. Let their children starve. Let them die by the sword. Let their wives be barren widows. Let their men be slaughtered and their young struck down in battle. Let screams be heard from their homes when you suddenly bring armies against them. They have dug a pit to capture me, set traps for my feet. But you, Lord, you know all their sinister plots to kill me. Don't overlook their wrongdoing. Don't cleanse their sin from before you. May they stumble before you when you become angry. Do something about them. And guys, that was Jeremiah chapter 16, verse 16 through chapter 18, verse 23. So that was yesterday's Jeremiah reading. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I will um, now go do yesterday's Bible reading in the New Testament. And then I will do today's Jeremiah reading and then today's Bible reading for you guys. I hope you guys have a great Sunday. Bye, guys. God bless.